Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your monthly reading for the month of March 2019. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. So let's see what's coming up for Leo people for the first half of March 2019. Um, be mindful of the fact that it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with everyone out there. So pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For those of you who are willing to get a personal reading, reach out to me for that. And uh, the link is in the description box. Uh, sorry, the email ID is in the description box. Um... For those of you who have not followed me on Instagram yet, you can do that because I do daily readings there. The link is in the description box for that. And um, all the personal readings are done within 24, 24 um, hours of time from uh, when you send me the payment proof. So if you are willing to get a quick answer to a quick question that you have, then reach out to me on my email ID for that. So the, um, I'm going to pull one card from the... Miracle cards, one card from the Secret Language of Color cards, and then I will be pulling um, two cards from the Rider Waite deck. Um, I, I will explain it to you one by one. <laughs> so let's see what's, what the color card has to say for um, Leo people for the first half of March 2019. <clears throat> Starting from 1st through the 15th of March. One card from the Romance and Jericho cards. Okay, this card wants to come up. I will include it. Um, two cards from the Rider Waite deck. Let's see what's coming up for Leo's for the... Wow. Cards are just, you know, popping out for Leo's. So I believe lots of... Um, I won't say lots of things happening for you. It's more like, you know, you... Um, you creating things to happen for you it's it's more of that energy i'm picking up so let's pull two cards from the uh, play cards i will uh, use my other deck if i will need to uh, for clarifiers if i will need to take any so let's see what's coming up for leo for the first half of march Okay, um, let's begin with the Rider Waite cards here. Let's see what's coming up for Leo for the first half of uh, March 2019. Page of Pentacles paired up with King of Pentacles. I believe you are going to be on the receiving end of uh, some sort of uh, news which is going to make you feel more stable when it comes to your finances. Um, news that will make you are uh, more in control of your life and i do pick up your you know very uh work or career oriented energy around you for the first half of the month uh you will be too focused on that um money uh finances job work business that's going to be the you know main uh focus of your life during the first half of the month um yeah ten of pentacles Two of Wands. Uh, for some of you, I do feel like you will be thinking of uh, making a decision regarding your uh, work and finances. Um, it's it's more like for for very few of you, I do feel uh, you are going to you know um, you will choose to leave a job of yours to start a business. Uh, for some of you, I do pick up that energy. It's like you know you will be. Uh, it's, it's more like you will feel enough, um, you will feel like you have enough of, you know, finances to take care of your or, or to start up your own business. I believe you would be doing that for some of you. Yeah, you will be planning to do that. Um, you would be, you know, maybe um, it's, it's more like um, you will be deciding to, you know, um, Maybe you will be searching around like what business can you, you know, uh, can you invest in or something like that. Because I just feel like you feeling very stable when it comes to your finances and you will be looking for a uh, business to invest in or a uh, business to have shares in. Like, you know, that kind of energy. Uh, you would want to expand your business, expand the, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, the outcome of money that you that you, you want to invest into something that will give you more money and um, you will be successful doing that as well. And um, you might hear a news of somebody like, you know, you might uh, have a 
news coming from a person who is ready to put more into your business if you already have one so it's it's more like you know very uh, finances money career oriented time for the people who um <clears throat> For the uh, for the Leo people, I would say because it's it's more like you are to focus on your work and finances. Maybe your love life would be ignored in the first half of uh, a month because I don't see any love related card here. Neither the energies are around that. So um, yeah, that's that's going to be the main focus of you uh, during the first half. Let's see what the romance angel or card has to say. Engagement. Your love life is uh, ascending to a higher level of uh, commitment. Uh huh. I don't see that coming up from from these cards here, but as it says, I will take a quick clarifier how this is going to happen. Um, for some of you, maybe the, the offer that is coming up uh, your way or the news that is going to come your way, maybe they will... Uh, you might you might become a, a business partner as well as you know life partners for very few of you. Maybe that's that's how you both are gonna work together for uh, you know expansion in your. Uh, money as well as in your personal life but let me take a quick clarifier for the engagement card here just to see who this person would be and how you're going to meet this person i will take three clarifiers just to clarify the situation of engagement coming up here so let's see what is it what the engagement is all about in your love life <clears throat> but i believe you are uh you are going to be taking very you know calculated or you know that kind of uh decisions when it comes to your love life as well um let's see what else is coming up with the engagement card here <clears throat> knight of cups in reverse because i had taken the cards in reverse so i will i don't read reversals so knight of cups pair up with seven of pentacles pair up with king of swords um um it's it's more like you know for some of you I believe that you would be um you would be too focused on your work and finances for quite some time now and you are going to receive an offer it doesn't have to be the one coming up with the with the business to offer it um it could be somebody else it could be somebody new it could be somebody um uh, um that's gonna come your way but I believe you uh, you will tell this person whoever this is. Uh, you are going to tell this person that right now I'm not, you know, up for any relationship because you have to focus on your work and finances. You don't want to, uh, you know, um, lose your focus from that part of it. And you will tell this person, look, this is what I want. I want to get done with my finances that I'm doing right now. And I will, you know, um, I will consider any love offer that is going to come my way, but not right this time. So, um It's, it's more like, you know, you are too focused right now on your work and finances. Your love life is going to, you know, um, once you get done with this, I believe you will put your all effort into your love life. But right now your focus would be this uh, part of it. So um, that might be, you know, that might be for some of you, you might have, you know, set yourself some goals to achieve when you achieve this goal of yours when it comes to your finances. Once you have achieve that part of it your next goal would be to get engaged and you don't want to be in a com you, you don't want to be in a you know uh time pass kind of a relationship i believe you would be going for just a quick marriage quick engagement quick living um something quick like you don't want to waste your time you know just uh hanging around here and there and you know um with a particular person or you know meeting new people out there i believe you will take a decision uh regarding your love life soon after you reach your target here in your work and finances and you will directly go for uh engagement it would i i believe it would be um it won't be a love marriage or i didn't pick any love kind of energy here because you have to focus on your work and finances you don't have time for all those lovey lovey stuff so i believe you will be uh brought um you will be brought with this um you know uh love offer maybe through some you know um marriage bureaus or your friends and family maybe they will you know see somebody for you and they will tell you okay fine we have you know chosen this girl for you this boy for you uh, so you would tell them okay fine let me get done with this you know target that i have set myself for 
then I will, you know, go for it. And that's exactly what you're going to be doing. I believe you will be um, achieving your this target when it comes to your finances and your career, and then you will go for your engagement. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I don't see any lovey-dovey energy around it. It's more of a, you know, logical mind at work uh, for the Leo people. Let's see what the color guidance has to say. Amber, awaken your creativity. That's exactly what you're going to be doing. It's like, you know, you are going to experience or, you know, experiment with your creativity when it comes to your finances and work. And um, that's all on your mind. It's, it's like, you know, you want everything to be perfect in your work sphere. And uh, you are going to use your creativity to expand more of uh, your career sphere. And it, it's more like, you know, um, your business, your work, your finances would be flourishing during the first half of the month for sure. Inspire hope and faith in others rather than fear. Um, this card is a symbol of uh, serenity, companionship and love. Allow, uh, allow it to guide you to love and forgive. Ask him um, for um, to grant you the wisdom to be less demanding of others or to be more mature, caring and inspiring person, parent or teacher. Honestly see the privileges you enjoy in your life. Learn to be blessed. Uh, sorry, uh, learn to be less concerned about the losses in your life, like lost time, lost money, lost relationship. On the financial front, good news will be soon heard. Um, if you suffer from insomnia, use aromatic oils like lavender or tea tree oil to calm your nerves. Let forgiveness come easily to you as it would prove to be beneficial for you as well as, uh, as, well as for others. You may be running around in circles. A reality check may be needed. Um, like I said, I, I, with this card here as well, I pick up very busy kind of energy around you during the first half of March. And um, I believe you will be inspiring lots of people with your, with your creativity, with your work, with, your, uh, with the type of work that you would be doing in your career. Um, people will be getting inspired. People will be, you know, looking up to you for, for you know, for your um, grandeur, I would say. So um, <clears throat> that's what I'm picking up coming up for you for the um, new people for the first half of March. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share. And if you're willing to get a personal reading, uh, do uh, reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for the new people. Take care. Bye.